What is up my athletes? Welcome back to another video. If you're new, welcome. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. And if you're not, welcome to another video. Alright, first things first, I gotta give a big shout out to my boy Brandon. Um, he was the one who uh, asked me to make this video. He hit me up on Instagram saying thank you so much. I'm hitting that sub button. Can you please make a video talking about the best cardio and weightlifting workouts? Also, the best ab workouts for all the parts of your stomach. Alright, so, you know, I know a little something about that, so might as well make a video about it. So first things first, we'll start with cardio. With cardio, it's very important that you guys understand. Running on a treadmill for hours ain't gonna work, alright? Like, that's just, it's just not gonna work. You're doing more damage than good. You're just putting all that stress on your knees and it's not really benefiting you as you think it is. The best cardio is HIIT workouts. Um, I don't ever do treadmill workouts. I don't ever run on the treadmill. What I do is I do sprints, all right? I do either uh, 10, 10 yard sprints, 20 yard sprints, uh, 30 yard sprints, 50 yard sprints. But every time I run these sprints, I make sure I'm going at 110%. That way your heart is pumping, your heart is pumping faster, your heart is working harder which means you're burning more calories instead of running on a treadmill for hours. Plus, it's boring. Running on a treadmill is so boring. You'll find so much more satisfaction and you'll have so much more fun running sprints. I also do a stationary bike, and what I do is I, for five minutes straight, I'll do 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off. I'll go ham, I'll go crazy, and then 30 seconds, go a little slow, and then the next 30 seconds, I'll go hard for five minutes straight. Another good cardio workout is uh, the row machine. If you guys could find a row machine, some gyms have it, some gyms don't. Luckily, my gym has it. I recommend a row machine. You know, it's more fun. And plus, when you're on a row machine, you're not damaging your knees. You're not hurting your knees as far as running on a treadmill, all that pressure you're putting on your knees. So I would definitely recommend row machine over treadmills any day of the week. Now we'll start with weightlifting. So I recommend you lift weights four times or more in a week, all right? There's just saying, this is what I thought of it. Lifting weights burns fat. I literally thought that's how it worked. But to get more in depth with that, when you're lifting weights and you're building muscle, basically allowing your body to burn more calories. So when you're at rest, let's say you're chilling, you're lifting weights, you've been lifting weights consistently um, four times or more, your body's gonna burn more calories at rest. When you're literally doing your normal activities, your body's gonna burn more calories because it's working more because you have muscle on your body. Do a bunch of leg workouts. I recommend do a lot of leg workouts. Upper body, if you could bench, you could do curls, bicep, as long as you're trying to touch every single body part, if you can be consistent, you'll see a change. You'll lose weight. You'll lose the belly fat. It all it all just happens. But you got to be consistent. That's the only way. You can't just work out, you know, in the gym for a week and then take another week off. And you have to be consistent. With ab workouts, I like to do planks. Planks. It's like a full body workout because you know you're working on your arms when you're planking. You'll feel a burn right here. You'll feel the burn in your, like, your legs. You'll feel it in your core. So it's kind of like a full body workout, but planks, in my opinion, are what made my stomach get flat the fastest. Out of all the workouts, all the core workouts, planks were like my favorite. I recommend you do core every single day, every single workout, always include it. Don't ever just leave the core workouts out. You should touch core every day if you can, maybe five days a week, six days a week. Your core, man, it's a muscle too, so you still gotta work it out. So I wouldn't skip core days at all. Um, personally, I like to do it at the end of my workouts as like a killer, and I would just I would just go hard. So if you're doing sprints for your cardio workouts, anything high intensity for your cardio workouts, you should be straight, you should be fine. You'll see a lot of change. If you're lifting four times or more a week, every week, I'm telling you, you'll see a change. Give yourself like three weeks, all right, before you quit. You should never quit anyways, but just give yourself three weeks to actually see change. Core, you know, you're doing core workouts every single day, you'll see ridiculous change. And just a little tip for everyone who's actually, you know, going through a weight loss transformation, don't get discouraged if you don't see a change. Other people will see it before you see it, all right? Your family members will notice it first, then your friends, and then people who haven't seen you in like months will realize it way before you realize it, all right? You can step on a scale, you lose 10 pounds, but you won't see it in the mirror, all right? Just don't get discouraged, just keep going, keep at it, and then, you know, everything's a grind, all right? If you want something, you gotta go get it, you gotta work for it. Hard work and dedication, that's, that's what anything in life. If you guys have any questions, hit me up on Instagram. Um, I always respond. If you want me to do a video, if you want me to talk about something, just let me know, hit me up. 
you know, I stay, I stay active. I'm bored. It's quarantine. Got nothing else to do besides school and work out. So just, you know, stay in contact. You guys be safe. You guys stay safe. And make sure you guys subscribe. Make sure you guys subscribe. And we out.